right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. Long time no talk. So a couple things we want to talk about in today's video, some current events with MetaZoo. Number one being the MetaZoo Arby's collab. So we've talked a lot about this in past videos. Apparently MetaZoo sometime this year is going to be doing a collab with Arby's where in the kids meal, they're going to be having some kind of MetaZoo product. Now, they confirmed this in a tweet. They talked about it on the MetaZoo Discord and Arby's um, put it on their Twitter as well. But most recently on the Arby's Facebook page, and I think on their other social media as well, they posted this picture of some people at Arby's. Is obviously a promotional picture that's not taken in real time yet. This is like a setup photo shoot. Um, but you can see some Arby's bags in the background and people playing with MetaZoo cards. Specifically, though, packs of UFO. Now... I found this to be interesting and possibly a little bit disappointing because we talked a lot in the previous Arby's video about how to manage our expectations for this Arby's collab because Arby's doesn't have the best track record of having the most desirable kids meal toys. They've been like, we talked about these cheap little plastic figures that basically just have stickers of whatever brand on these little plastic discs. They're not even figures, they're little plastic discs. So Arby's is kind of a very um, low quality kids meal on the on the spectrum of kids meals of happy meals and burger kings and mighty kids meals and all these things arby's isn't really on the top tier of that list so our expectations from from the get-go should have been kind of low but based on what we're seeing here it kind of alludes to maybe it's just going to be packs of ufo which i would think would be pretty disappointing to somebody that's already a metazoo fan now obviously a lot of people think this introduction of MetaZoo and Arby's is going to bring in a new fan base because there's so many different Arby's franchises around the country. We don't know if it's going to be international or not, um, but there's so many Arby's franchises all over the place that the idea would be to introduce more people to MetaZoo through this kid's meal. Now, my, my conjecture would be that most people are probably going to be buying these kid's meals are adults that are already into MetaZoo. So from that perspective, if me or you, if you're watching this, you're probably an adult that's in the MetaZoo. If me or you goes to Arby's and buys this kid's meal, we're probably going to be pretty disappointed if what we get in that kid's meal is just a pack of UFO. So I think a lot of people were thinking that hopefully Arby's would have like their own set of MetaZoo promos that you could complete by getting however many kid's meals or going on different days or whatever. And that would add a little bit of an element of a you know, collectability, a little bit of an element of a chase, some exclusivity, a reason to go to Arby's other than a pack of UFO. Because let's be completely honest, UFO seems like it has maybe been the least desirable set. Maybe next to Cryptid Nation 2nd Edition, where at least in 2nd Edition you can get the Mothman, which still seems to be a chase. Which, by the way, you guys might have seen, uh, Argos talked about this in a video recently. People are buying up 2nd Edition Mothman left and right. And also the Nightfall Mothman left and right. That was actually me and Chris. Me and Chris bought up pretty much every second edition Mothman that we saw on TCG Player and eBay from a price point of like $12 to $20. We, we bought pretty much all of them. So if you guys saw Argos talking about that, that was actually me and Chris. We were we just picked a card. We said, let's go for it and let's try to clear them out of as many as we can. So that was us. The Nightfall Mothman wasn't us. So Mothman right now is getting a lot of sales. But anyway, um, the second edition... What was, I, what was I saying here? The second edition at least had Mothman. That's what I was saying. UFO just seems like people didn't really gravitate towards the set as much as Wilderness. I mean, Wilderness, you could get the Green Man. You could have, you know, some value in the Prismora. You had characters like Bigfoot and Awful and Dragon of Ocanto Falls that were pretty popular. UFO just didn't seem to hit the same as Wilderness did. And it didn't hold the same value as the following set. Seance. I mean, Seance is still holding relatively strong, and there's some pretty good chase cards in there, like the Possessed Aura. That's still like a $200 plus dollar card. There's the Chains of Old Scratch. There's a Satanic Panic. A lot of people like Seance, I think, better than UFO, and I think a lot of people like Wilderness better than UFO. So UFO, in my opinion, probably the least desirable set of MetaZoo. And if that was what was going to be in these Arby's kids' meals, I don't think a lot of people like me or you that are already in the MetaZoo would bother going to buy one. I think the kids meal near me is like six or seven dollars. They're not cheap kids meals. So to pay six or seven dollars for food, you're probably not going to eat all of. And just to get a pack of UFO, that would probably be the least, uh, the least desirable outcome here. So hopefully this picture that was posted was not a, a look into what's actually going to be in the kids meals, but I thought it was weird that they would specifically have the UFO packs in the picture. In, in that they were packed specifically and didn't show any promo cards or anything. The fact that it was specifically UFO 
seemed a little bit too specific. And, and it made me inclined to think that that's what it's going to be, is maybe MetaZoo had this surplus of UFO packs because it, it does seem like it was a more less popular set and this would be a good way to unload that surplus and also in theory um get a lot of more people into metazoo by you know being at this big chain restaurant but i honestly if that's the case i'm going to be pretty disappointed because it, it would really make sense because like i said if you think about it if they already had these ufo packs made in in circulation and just the surplus of them they wouldn't have to print new promos or spend very much money doing this Arby's collaboration. It would be like a very minimal effort thing, which like we talked about before, kind of seems to be par for the course with some of these MetaZoo collabs. So I, my thing would be, don't get your hopes up too high. I think a lot of people had really high expectations for this Arby's thing. And hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it's not UFO packs and there is maybe an additional promo or maybe an additional toy or something. But right now I'm leaning towards uh, manager expectations. It's, it might not be the greatest thing in the world and it might not be uh, even a desirable enough thing for an adult that's already in the meta zoo to go get a ufo pack from arby's or maybe you do want one just for the sake of you know the nostalgia of going to a fast food chain and getting a pack of trading cards i mean mcdonald's did it pretty well with pokemon and i've i've done every uh i participated in i should say every pokemon mcdonald's collab recently just for the nostalgic thrill of getting a happy meal and getting those pokemon packs but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the meta zoo and uh, arby's collab based on this picture I wasn't super stoked on it, and honestly, my uh, my expectations are pretty low. I think the bar here um, should be set pretty low for most of our expectations. So let me know what you guys think. I could be wrong, but that seems like a likely scenario here. Now, next up, I want to talk about the MetaZoo Tops Chrome market, which seems to be settling down a bit, specifically the Super Fractor market. So a lot of people, it seems, when they pull a Super Fractor and they list it on eBay, the general listing price or best offer by it now seems to be between five and $10,000. Now, that expectation, I think, might be a little bit high based on some of the recent sold listings, one of them being mine. So part of a recent sale that I did where I sold my PSA 9 uh, one of one babe the blue ox it was a cash deal but it also had an element of trade and included in that trade was a one of one super fractor funeral mountain terror shot and what i did with that is i wanted to actually test the market and see what the market demand really was for any super fractor even though obviously funeral mountain terror shot is not the most desirable of all the metazoo beasties i listed it at auction just to see how high it would go and it ended up selling for 420 dollars now, the next two lowest listings I see for Super Fractors on eBay right now are two one-of-one one alien astronauts. One of them is $950 and one of them is 1000 And I would say those are probably in a comparable character range of the Funeral Mountain Terror Shot. Lesser desirable, lesser known, and probably not going to go for more than $500, I would assume. Now, most of the other sold listings that I saw were best offer accepted, so we don't know for sure what they sold for. But as far as auctions, there was a Kushtaka one of one Super Fractor that went for $700. There was also a, uh, let me see, and there was also a PSA 9 Shadow People that sold for $661. And there was also a Snow Wasset, which was $750 or best offer, and a best offer was accepted. So those are the recent sold listings for under $1,000. I think initially, a lot of people uh, were expecting this to be any of the Super Fractors to be uh, more than a $1,000 card. But I think the, the reality of the Super Fractors are setting in and the market of the, the number of people out there for a one-of-one -one Cactus Cat or Funeral Mountain Terror Shot or Alien Astronauts is actually pretty low. So when you put these at auction, there's not a whole lot of people bidding on cards like that. So again, another thing where you need to manage your expectations. Um, and, and really the market across the board it has continued to go down. But like I said, I think that's a really good buying opportunity. I've bought maybe a dozen uh, Green Refractor Loveland Frogman. That's my probably one of my favorite characters. One of, Next to Mothman, probably my favorite uh, My favorite artwork is in that Topps Chrome set for the Loveland Frogman. So I've been buying a bunch of those uh, numbered out of 100s. I bought an orange one. I also bought three gold ones, so numbered out of 50s. And I'm working on trying to get a black numbered out of five. But the prices are really reasonable. I think for the Frogman, I'm paying on average like 50 bucks for a green refractor. I've got a couple green refractor Mothman now that I've bought the, the Cryptid Cam Mothman. So overall, even though the market is starting to come down to reality on some of the Topps Chrome stuff, I think it's a fantastic time to buy. Any card that you want, you can find it for a pretty reasonable price. And like I said, pick a character, man. Like, like me and Chris were doing with the Mothman. We picked second edition Mothman one night and said, Let's kind of have a little bit of a battle here and see who can buy more of them at this price point. So me and Chris were kind of going back and forth until they were sold out on uh, TCG Player and eBay. 
So do that with your friends. Pick a car that's at a reasonable price point. I think the next one I'm going to do is probably a Nightfall Wendigo. I think they're averaging like $15 raw right now. And that's kind of a fun thing that we've been doing to take advantage of this market is pick a card and just buy it out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you guys think about the overall state of the MetaZoo market? What do you guys think about the MetaZoo and Arby's collab? What do you think about these super fractors selling for less than $1,000? Are they undervalued or even at the price points they're selling at, like a one-of-one Kush Taka or My Funeral Mountain Terror Shot for 420 or the Kush Taka for 700 Is that even overvalued for a one-of-one of, one of that particular character? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Nick Strength and Pokemon, signing out.